Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. A few days ago, the Bruins made a big-time move to bring in defenseman Dmitry Orlov and forward Garnet Hathaway. But Don Sweeney wasn't done making deals just yet, as a few days later, we have another trade to announce. Let's talk about it. It's a one-for-one -one deal with the Bruins sending goaltender Keith Kincaid to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for forward prospect Shane Bowers. We're going to talk about both players involved in this deal, I'll give you my thoughts on the trade, and we'll look at the Bruins' organizational depth chart when it comes to goalies now that they've moved on from Keith Kincaid. Let's start with the player the Bruins are getting in this trade, forward prospect Shane Bowers. He's a 23-year-old 6'2 left-shot centerman, originally selected in the first round of the 2017 draft, 28th overall by the Ottawa Senators. He would later be involved in the Matt Duchesne trade, and he's been in Colorado's system ever since. He did play in one NHL game this season with the Avalanche, and that's all he's played his entire NHL career, and unfortunately he recorded zero points in that game. This season in the AHL, he's played in 37 games, scoring 4 goals, 10 assists for a total of 14 points, and he's a plus 2 on the season. His entire AHL career, he's played in 154 games, scoring 27 goals, 32 assists for a total of 59 points. The reason the Bruins are probably interested in this kid is at one point he played for BU, and we know they love their guys with local ties. He does still have some upside. At one point, this player was compared to a Jonathan Taves. He has a fantastic personality and character, a great leader in the room, and plays a very strong two-way game. We know the Bruins need some center depth in their organization, so I don't mind them taking a chance on this kid. You trade a veteran goaltender for a prospect with some upside. If he does find his game here playing on a very strong Providence Bruins team, alongside Fabian Lysel, Georgi Merkulov, Jacob Lauko, I think that could really help spark his game. If it does, then the Bruins want to keep him around. He's only signed for this season at 750000 but then he'll be in RFA with team control, so they could keep him around long term. Now we'll talk about the player the Bruins are trading away in this deal. That's goaltender Keith Kincaid. He is a veteran, he's 33 years old, and he only played in one game with Boston this season. It was a win with a 1.0 goals against average and a .968 save percentage, so it was a very impressive game against the Buffalo Sabres. And honestly, when I first saw this trade, I got a little worried because I was thinking that the Bruins should have a veteran goaltender in case Allmark or Swayman goes down, especially in the playoffs. You like to have a guy with some experience. But we're going to take a look at some of their other goaltenders, and it makes a lot more sense after you hear their stats compared to Keith Kincaid's. That being said, Keith Kincaid had a record of 8-7-4 in the AHL this season with a 3.10 goals against average and a .909 save percentage. He was going to be a UFA after this season. He only signed a one-year $750,000 deal with the Bruins to play this season. He has had an impressive NHL career for a guy who went undrafted. He played in a total of 168 NHL games with 70 wins, 58 losses, 21 overtime losses, and a career goals against average of 2.91 and a career save percentage of .905. Now let's take a look at the remaining goaltenders in the Bruins' depth chart, and it's quickly going to make sense why the Bruins were able to move on from Keith Kincaid so easily. Starting with the goaltender who's been in the system the longest, that's Kyle Kaiser. He's only 23 years old, but he's having a fantastic season this year with the Providence Bruins and continues to grow his game season after season. This year, he is 7-1-2 with a 2.08 goals against average and a .925 save percentage. And he's also 2-0 in his time with the Maine Mariners. Kyle Kaiser has been in the system for quite some time, and I would not be surprised if one of Olmark or Swayman were to go down if he was the first call-up. Just because they're comfortable with his game, they know what he brings, and he's continued to develop year after year. But if they don't call up Kaiser, they could call up Brandon Bussey. He's a 24-year-old who has recently come onto the scene and has become a star at the AHL level. In fact, he went to the AHL All-Star game representing the Providence Bruins with Jack Ashan. This season, Bussey is an impressive 16-2-4 with a 2.31 goals against average and a .929 save percentage. The Bruins have some of the best goaltenders in the entire NHL. I would argue they're the best goaltending tandem in the NHL. And even though Swayman is the goalie of the future, 
Bussy is certainly throwing his name into that hat. And Linus Olmark really isn't that old, so the Bruins' goaltending position is looking super strong for many years to come. And having these two playing as good, if not better, than Keith Kincaid made it a no-brainer to move on from the veteran who you didn't want to keep around and to stop sending these two to the main Mariners. Bussy also had to spend a couple games with the Mariners in which he was 3-1. and one. And I think the Bruins want them to just be the main tandem for Providence and stop having to send them back and forth or stop having to play with three goaltenders because I don't think that was helping anybody. Kincaid wants to play, he's a veteran, and these two young guys want to grow their game and not have to keep switching with each other to give a random 33-year-old the chance at the net. But the Bruins do also have a fifth goaltender that I wouldn't be surprised if they want to give a little bit more time to or at least an opportunity to get some AHL time himself. And that's Michael DiPietro, who you might remember the Bruins got in the Jack Sonica trade earlier on this season. This season with the Maine Mariners, the Bruins ECHL affiliate, he is 11-5 and with a 2.53 goals against average and a .919 save percentage. That's a pretty strong season, and DiPietro has kind of fallen off the tracks when it comes to his development, so this is a pretty nice bounce-back season in the Bruins organization. And I would not be surprised to see them reward him with a little bit of AHL time at some point, especially if one of the other guys gets called up. Even though I think it's a good idea to have a veteran goaltender on your depth chart, the impressive seasons of Brandon Bussey, Kyle Kaiser, and Michael DiPietro just made it way too easy to move on from Keith Kincaid. I love that we bring in a prospect at a position of need in Shane Bowers, who still has plenty of upside. He's going to play on a very good Providence Bruins team, playing with some solid veterans, guys like Chris Wagner and Mike Riley, so he can kind of learn his way to make it to the NHL, and playing with some young, skilled players like Fabian Lysel, Georgie Merkulov, and Jacob Lauko. I think that will really help this player, and hopefully he can develop into something for the Bruins, because that would be an absolute steal. All you had to do was trade a veteran goaltender that you really didn't need. God forbid anything happens to Jeremy Swayman or Linus Olmark, but I think that these guys are both more than ready to get time in the NHL with the impressive seasons that they've had so far. I love that the Bruins are continuing to build toward the future by giving their goaltenders some more playing time, bringing in a young center prospect who can develop a bit more while they continue to go for the Stanley Cup at the NHL level. The last thing I love about this trade is it means that Don Sweeney is still out there working the phones, seeing who's available, seeing what deals he can make, and I still believe that Sweeney has a little something up his sleeve before the trade deadline. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think the Bruins are done making moves? What do you think of this trade? Do you think Shane Bowers is a good prospect who can find his game here in the Bruins system? And how do you feel about the Bruins goaltending position moving forward? With three solid young goaltenders all under team control after this season, and do you think any of them are ready for a little NHL time if it came to that? Leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe.